It is 1991. The world reels as George Bush, President of the United States, orders military attacks on Iraq. Rajiv Gandhi, former Indian Prime Minister, is assassinated. The Soviet Union collapses, dissolving into 15 separate countries. For the West, this is a triumph of democracy over totalitarianism, capitalism over socialism. In South Africa, the remaining apartheid legislation is lifted and Nelson Mandela looks set to become the next president. And for the first time in 43 years, Israel sits down with its Arab neighbors to discuss peace in the Middle East. The UK is experiencing its own upheavals. The IRA launches an attack on 10 Downing Street, seeking to assassinate Prime Minister John Major. The Bank of Credit and Commerce International collapses, costing taxpayers millions, and the Hillsborough verdict on the death of 95 football fans sparks widespread anger. Terry Waite, envoy to the Archbishop of Canterbury, is freed after being held hostage for five years in Beirut. Upheavals and uncertainty It is into this context that the Grassroots Programme was born. Grassroots, the vision of founder David Cowling, a program of community engagement rooted in the Christian faith. In its early days, Grassroots was a resource for churches, assessing the meaning and relevance of the Christian faith in the midst of the world's struggles. Mission partners, invited from around the world, led diverse projects including Building Plural Communities in Europe The Cutting Edge Project linking church with community. Rags and Roses, a community development program in Marsh Farm. Renewal from the Roots, new ways of understanding the Bible, and spirituality, regeneration and development. Early work focused on learning from encounters with people from other cultures in other places. Then, taking note of the rapidly changing context at home, Grassroots consciously chose to start working with the many faiths and cultures on its own doorstep. At Grassroots, the seeds had been sown for local interfaith engagement, and in 1996, the Luton Interfaith Forum was formed. In 2001, this evolved into the Luton Council of Faiths. Since then, Grassroots, working in partnership with Luton Council of Faiths and others, has engaged in a wide variety of projects, including hosting the British Council's Global Exchange Program, involving young people from across the UK and around the world, developing the Interfaith Pilgrimage, now known as the annual Luton Peace Walk, transforming derelict green spaces into community peace gardens, the Faith Woodlands Communities Project, which attracted over 3,000 people to visit Malden Woods in Bedfordshire. The annual One World Week event, which gathered hundreds of people for multicultural evenings of sharing and celebration, and receiving visitors from the UK and overseas for learning and cultural exchanges. The work of grassroots continued to grow. In 2007, the Spirituality of Justice project gave rise to the Making Luton a Fair Trade Town campaign, and in 2011, Luton achieved its Fair Trade Town status. Soon after, Luton's Multi-Faith Fair Trade Steering Group received the Outstanding Achievement Award from the Fair Trade Foundation in recognition of its unique work. Working with women across faiths and cultures is delivered in partnership with women's cooperative Gar Sagar, meaning home to home in Hindi and Urdu. The project has developed many initiatives, including the ever-popular Precious Pearls, an annual celebration of International Women's Day. The church-related Community Work Project, in partnership with the Burry Park Beach Hill Council of Churches, develops wide-ranging community activities seeking to bring different groups and individuals together. Initiatives have included creative writing sessions, celebration events, 
projects exploring culture, faith, identity and migration, and work with Luton's Roma community. More recently, Grassroots was selected as a local hub for the Near Neighbours programme, funded by the Ministry of Housing, Communities and Local Government. This partnership has supported numerous community projects across Luton and has enabled the development and delivery of the Catalyst Youth Leadership Training Programme, concerned with shaping the community leaders of tomorrow. Grassroots works both on the surface and behind the scenes of Luton Life. It has been involved in delivering training programs for statutory bodies and charities, equipping them to better understand and meet the needs of the diverse communities whom they serve, holding youth conferences, enabling young people to explore complex issues of identity and to counter suspicion of the other, Interfaith Sports Initiatives as a Means of Enabling Community Engagement, a recent community archery program developed after the London 2012 Olympics, has involved 3,000 people and has left a legacy of over 50 archery coaches and instructors and two independent clubs. As grassroots moves into the future, its work continues to develop. Newer activities include various initiatives engaging Luton's primary schools. A partnership with Kayal Theatre seeks to empower young people with religious and cultural literacy by reclaiming faith stories distorted by the media. In 2017, Grassroots had the privilege of receiving their Royal Highnesses Prince William and Kate Middleton for a private visit. With the credibility and trust developed over many years, Grassroots has become a multi-award winner, with its work being recognised and highly regarded by many people in Luton, the UK and beyond. As we celebrate all that Grassroots has achieved in the last 25 years, we recognise that it would not have been possible without the generous support of its many volunteers, partners and funders. The future, as always, is unknown. But whatever challenges may come, Grassroots will strive to respond as it always has, with a different point of view.